Hello everybody, this is String Gamer here to kick off round 3 for Group B. In this session we have got this quartet of matches for you to enjoy. At first we are going to see Storm taking a crack at Windless Carnotaurus Man. Then it is the champ, Maastrichian, looking to make it 3 out of 3 as I take on Varga. Then we have Windless Mulberry going up against the host, Stranger Gamer, also looking to make it 3 out of 3. And as for our main event, we have Khalid 0-2 going up against Echo Fury 2-0. But enough about that main event, we got three matches to do first, so let's go with match number one. Right then, in the red corner for Storm, we have got Super Ragasaurus. Awake a mode on three. In fact, there's a lot of Super Dinosaurs in this matchup. Storm has two of them, Carnotaurus Man has one of them. And they all awaken awake a mode for, on three. And, we, and they both have armor dinosaurs in third as well. Now on this field, it does suit both our combatants actually, because both our combatants have lightning types. Right, in the blue corner for Carnotaurus Man, we have got Super Displetosaurus, Awaken Mode on 3, Carnotaurus Man, looking for their first win of the tournament. Although, they had a good showing in their first match, they did let the lead slip. And in the second match, well, it was a strong performance from the hosts. So let's see what they get this time. Now, in last year's tournament for Carnotaurus Man, it was the third match where they really turned things around. So <laughs> let's see if they can turn it around here. Well, not with a start like that. Vagasaurus getting the first hit on the board. Now, Vagasaurus does have the death fire as well, so Carnotaurus Man is going to have to be careful. Ooh, that's another hit from Raj. This is a good start from Storm. Now, even though Storm's 1-1, one and one, they, they've had a pretty good tournament so far, if i got to be honest. They had a very good showing against the champ, Maastrician, in their first match. And they did get, out, get their first win last time out. Right, here we go. Thor Fusion! Elementor Fusion! Ooh, this could be big. Well, let's be honest, they cancel each other out really, if you think about it. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, the Despletosaurus is going down, but the Pachyrhinosaurus does come in with terrain advantage, which means Carnotaurus Man will get the next hit, and Rajasaurus will not get the chance to damage it. And that hit's going to be a rock hit, a lightning strike. Ooh, terrain advantage, saving Carnotaurus Man from potential major damage at the hands of Storm. Okay, here's the lightning strike. Oh no! No death fire either. But the magma blaster has been triggered. And well, despite that missed opportunity, it has been a good good start from Storm so far. Oh, but Carnotaurus Man getting another hit. A lightning spear. And Rajasaurus going down just like that. And let's be honest, because this Patty's Rhinosaurus is heroic type, even if Rajasaurus didn't lose half his health, it would have died anyway. Right, coming in next for Storm, we've got Super Carnotaurus. Again, Awaken Mode on 3. And a problem here is that, as I said, that Pachyrhinosaurus is heroic type. If it gets off a lightning spear, it is going to do massive damage to this Carnotaurus. That's something the Storm's got to be wary of. But, you know, that's the that's first actual shot in this match, Carnotaurus man. Alright, now they got a second. A lightning strike coming in. Minus a terrain advantage, I should say. Carnotaurus man turning it around. Right, that's one. Ooh, really don't want to get hit by that lightning spear. Oh, for another tie, we're getting some tie spam here. Yeah? Oh, well, it's going to be lethal without the heroic effect, but massive hit from Carnotaurus, man, and that's going to put him 2-1 up. But the saving grace for Storm is that Maximus does come in next, and because it's coming in, 
and because Pachyrhinosaurus has already used its terrain advantage, Maximus will still get the terrain advantage. And it will be a crit. So, did you follow all of that? <laughs> so Maximus comes in next. Because Pachyrhinosaurus has already used its terrain advantage, Maximus will still get terrain advantage. So Storm will get the next hit here. Boosh! And to be honest, I think he needed it as well. Because Carnotaurus man was starting to get on top with his Pachyrhinosaurus. Okay, there we go. That should be curtains for Pachyrhinosaurus. And Storm just like that getting back in this contest. Oh, hang on, it might not be lethal for Pachyrhinosaurus. It's not! But the bar is filling up, which, again, could be crucial. Oh, how crucial could this be? Massive lightning spear from Carno Man. And again, it's going to do massive damage to Maximus. This could be a big hit. Oh, look at that! Okay, that was kind of pathetic healing, but look at this from Carnotaurus, man. Can they get the win? Oh, that's a tie. That's still not lethal. Storm needs to get the next hit here, or he's done, and he does get the next hit. Now again, one hit, and we will see Spectral Armor, so Storm... Despite taking a beat in there, it's not out of this contest. Dino Slash. Right, coming in third for Carnotaurus Man, we've got Ace Dino Tactor. And well, while there's a good chance we'll see Spectral Armor, there's no chance we'll see Dino Tactor because Maximus's HP is far too low. It's all on this, isn't it? Can Ace get the job done for Carnotaurus Man? Or can Storm come from behind and storm to victory? Loads of moments in this match. Ooh, now things get interesting. Because as I said, it's Spectral Armor time. And that puts the odds in Storm's favour. Well, it's a toss-up really, because whoever gets the next hit here is going to win this match. If Storm gets it, he wins. If Carnotaurus Man gets it, he wins. All on this all come down to this. Ooh, a tie. No, it does have Sonic Blast, I believe. But a tie will be fatal for Maximus here. Oh, Ace gets the crucial hit. Massive hit there from Carnotaurus, man. And that gets them their first win of the tournament. And well, despite the efforts from Storm, no losing bonus point. Chance missed for Storm there to get that massive spectral punisher. But it is Carnotaurus Man's victory. Right, on to match two. Right the ho then. In the red corner for our champ, Maastrician, we have got Omega Eocarcaria. Maastrician 2 0 so far in this tournament. Got a narrow win against Storm in round one before getting a convincing win against Khalid in round two. Let's see what we get from the champ this time. Right, in the blue corner. Representing Varga. We have got Torvasaurus. Varga 1-1 one one so far. Got a round 1 victory against Mulberry before suffering defeat in round 2 at the hands of Storm. But, yeah, this is by far their toughest assignment yet. And probably the toughest assignment they'll get in this group. So it'll be interesting to see how they fare. Can the newcomers pull off an upset? It's a tie. Another tie. Oh, they get the first hit on the board. Will we see some vault burst? Tech boost activating there. Good hit, good hit by Varga. Tight. This Maastrician can't get a hit yet. The tie recovery effect. Oh, another hit on the board. 
you have to say this is a good start from Varga so far. Getting the tech boost maxed up. No volcano bursts up. Interesting. Surprising, to be honest. Ooh, but Maastrician responds with their first shot of the match. A Tappy Jara dive as well. A crit inbound. You douche. And just like that, evening things up. Well, not evening things up, because the light recovery is going to heal up the Okak area a bit. Oh, that's another tie. And another recovery there. Ooh, Maastrician getting another hit. That's probably going to be lethal for Torvasaurus. Well, that's clinical, isn't it? Because both of our guys have had two hits each in this match. Yet, Eocarcaria has half health and Torvasaurus is dead. Right. Coming in next for Varg. We have got a Joboria. Now, the Joboria does have the Dino Stuffer. That could be crucial in this matchup. And the last thing Varga needs here is this Omega is this Eocarcaria to get Omega armor. And it's one hit away from that. Oh well, there it is. Boosh! Okay, Aqua Vortex has been triggered. That puts the odds in Varga's favour here. Right, here we go. This could be a big moment in the match. If Maastrishan gets a hit here, he will go 2-0 up. But if Varga can hang in there, survive and get past this Eocarcaria, he'll be back in this match. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, dear. It's going to be 2-0 to Maastrishan. Well, it was a good start from Varga, but the champ has really turned the screw in this contest. And Varga is in big, big trouble now. However, we will not count them out yet. Because we have seen in this tournament before, armoured dinosaurs can make a big impact. So what's working against Varga here could work in their favour with this Armatus. So we will not count them out yet. But they are in big, big trouble. Because the champ is well on top now. Coming in third for Varga, we've got Armatus with Spectral Armor. And, well, he's going to need Spectral Armor if he's going to get back in this contest. If he's going to get anything out of this contest. He needs the Spectral Armor. And Maastrician has the Blitz-type Spino waiting in the wings. Oh, no, that's another hit. Is Maastrician going to win 3 nil? Okay, there's a hit from Armatus, a much needed hit. Attack boost is going to be very beneficial. Needs to kill this Eocarcaria ASAPs. Okay, that's a tie. But look at the bar is filling up. Okay, there's a hit. That's a Quake Saber, I believe. That's going to be lethal for Eocarcaria. Big hit that from Varga. Now they're a bit shaken, but finally the Eel Carcaria goes down. The attack boost is maxed up. Varga is not out of this yet. But coming in next for our champ, we have got the Spinosaurus. It's blitz type, so it will go for two crits here. And if Master Ishin can get off one of those crits, then it probably will be game over for Varga. But Varga starting to wrestle back some momentum in this match. Orega, Sakura, or whatever. So, we'll get the uh, first crit. And, oh. <laughs> there it is. It's a power drain. I think this is going to be curtains for Armatus. Because this Spinosaurus does have a pretty decent crit. Especially when it's blitz type. Yeah, there it is. Sucking the life out of Armatus. Sucking any hope of a comeback out of Varga. And getting the bonus point victory for Maastrician in another impressive display. 
three out of three for the champ so far. Varga licking their wounds yet again. Right then, on to our third matchup now. The real fun is about to begin. Okay, in the red corner for Mulberry, we have got a Papasaurus, and this is a very good field for Mulberry. They will get to rain advantage. Winless so far in this tournament. Well, this is probably the toughest match so far, going up against the tournament hosts. Right, in the blue corner for Stranger Gamer, we have got a Centaurosaurus. Our hosts have been in fine form so far in this tournament, looking to make it three out of three. Hmm, this is an interesting one because they got the terrain advantage, so Papasaurus is going to get the first hit here. And this is the first match where I don't have terrain advantage, so we'll see how this plays out. And to be honest, I'm glad of that, because I don't want terrain advantage in every match I have. You know, you've got to have some things go against you. And this Papasaurus has been pretty strong so far, so this is going to be a tough match, even though they're 0-2. Oh, but that's a good hit from Cintillosaurus. Massive crit coming. Defense Spurs activating. Elemental Power activating. Big shot from the hosts. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, look at that damage. This is exactly what I want. And despite the terrain advantage, it is our hosts in the lead. Ooh, okay, the Papasaurus does respond with a hit. However, the resilience of the Sinteosaurus is going to limit the damage. Oh, another hit! This is a good response from Mulberry. Oh, that's a tie. Is that curtains for Pop? For a Sintosaurus? No, but ties are exactly what Papasaurus wants because it is willpower type. And this tie will finish the job. And Sintosaurus goes down, and for the first time in this tournament, our hosts are playing catch up. Right, coming in next for Stranger Game, we have got a Mega Raptor. Hmm, interesting turn of events. Now, this Mega Raptor has been, well, Nigh unstoppable so far in this tournament, been absolutely dominant. But Mulberry is having a good showing so far. Hmm. And it's buffed up now because of the two ties, so. Oh, that's not good. Another hit from Papasaurus. Oh. Okay, well, for being buffed up, that's quite weak damage. Oh, maybe it didn't carry over from the Sintosaurus. Another hit from Papasaurus. Well, um, this isn't going well. <laughs> um, please be scissors. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, let's be honest. I've had everything my way so far, so I'm not going to complain. But what a showing from Mulberry. Okay, there's a hit, finally. And Papasaurus finally biting the dust, but he's definitely pulled its weight and... Honestly, I'd feel shafted if I was Mulberry because you got no secret moves triggered. Of BS. <laughs> right, coming in next for Mulberry, we have got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Now, Mulberry has a decent lead and has had a really good showing in this match so far. Can they finish the Mega Raptor off? And for the first time in this tournament, are we going to see a Rhinoceratops? Oh, that's not good. That's a crit block. That's exactly what Mega Raptor wants. That's a tie bomb as well. And if we get a cyclone as well, that'll guarantee Mega Raptor another hit. Okay, no cyclone, but the crit block does remove Chasmosaurus's crit, which means Mega Raptor will go for the rock. Okay, gets gets a tie there, but the tie bomb's going to go off seen this strategy before in this tournament and Mega Raptor goes down and our hosts are in trouble right coming in next for Stranger Game we got a Rhinoceratops showing for the first time in this tournament and we're gonna see what it can do if it can do anything I hope it can do something <laughs> uh, it's lethal type 
although it's not very lethal. But don't be fooled by his weak attack stats. This thing hits hard. And I'm going to need it to hit hard to get back in his contest. Ooh. Yeah, this is interesting. Ooh, that's not good. He gets a hit here. Oh, no! Um, this is not going well. Oh, look at the damage! Okay, Counter Blitz has been triggered. That's good. I'm going to need that Counter Blitz. Okay, there's the Counter Blitz nullifying the crit. That could be a big Counter Blitz. If that crit had hit, that would have been game over for the host. And Muddleberry would have pulled off the upset. Oh, we're going to get an electric charge as well. That's busted. Come on, give me a hit. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, that's not good. That's a Gatling spark. That's probably going to be... That could be game over for the host. Oh. <laughs> another counter blitz. Come on, another counter blitz. <laughs> Went for it again. Wow, how many hits has freaking Mulberry got in this match? Can they get the bonus point victory? What a showing from Mulberry. You wouldn't have thought they were 0-2. Oh, yeah. is it? Oh, they don't get the bonus point, but they get the win. Massive win for Mulberry. And what a win for them. Taking out the hosts. And well, uh, that didn't go well, did it? <laughs> right, on to our main event. The less said about our match, the better. Right then, in the red corner, for Khalid, we have got a Shantungasaurus. <laughs> Ooh, we're on the Sunset Beach field. Which we haven't seen that often, to be honest. Which means that Echo Fury will get terrain advantage in this match, courtesy of this Spinal Tech doing third. Right, in the blue corner for Echo Fury, we've got Allosaurus, Alpha Allosaurus. Now, Echo Fury's enjoyed a pretty good tournament so far. Two out of two. Beat Incarnatorus Man in round one. And getting past Varga in round two. I think they beat Varga. I can't remember now. <laughs> but anyway, the, the point still stands. They're 2 and 0, and they're looking really good in this tournament. But, Khalid will be a tough test for them. Oh, there's a first hit on the board. Now, uh, don't, again, don't let Khalid's 0-2 fool you, because they have had a really tough start in this tournament. And we have seen glimpses of them be effective. And that's a good response there. Tech boost coming in. Defense boost activating as well. But we haven't really seen them land a big shot in this tournament yet. But when they do, oh boy, you're going to know about it. Alright, there's the fence boost, tech boost all maxed up now. Another hit for Khalid, but well, ideally, he needs a crit. But he is chipping away at the Allosaurus' health. Okay, there's a tie. Oh, well, it's a different hit, but a hit nonetheless, and a hit that puts Khalid in the lead. Right, coming in next for Echo Fury, we've got Super Despletosaurus. Well, Echo Fury, no stranger to losing in this tournament. They did have to come from behind to beat Carnotaurus, man. So this will be nothing new to them. And remember, the, spine, the Spinotector, with the terrain advantage as well, and the Dinotector, is a factor. Khalid will definitely have to watch out for. Oh, that's a big hit. That's a big atomic bomb. It's literally going to be an atomic bomb. Whoa. Massive hit for the Shan. Oh, okay, that wasn't that impressive. It's a tie. Echo Fury just can't get a hit on the board. Oh, now they can get a hit. And it's a Kamikaze Tackle. Oh no, it was a Venom fan. I must have you confused with someone else's Despletosaurus. But this Venom fan, a crucial hit this could be for Echo Fury. The Venom 
the poison does ignore the defensive resilience of the shant, I believe. And that'll be all she wrote for Shant. Echo Fury finally starting to land some punches in this contest. And he still has the Awaken mode to use on the Despletosaurus as well. So despite being in a losing position, they're still in a... They still have a good chance to come back into this. Right, coming in next for Khalid, we have got Tajongasaurus. Another big hitting crit dinosaur this. And wow, well, look at that power, maxed up to the full. Can Kali kill this Despletosaurus before it gets the chance for the Awaken mode? Another tie? The answer to that is yes! And that could be a chance missed there for Echo Fury, possibly. Right, coming in third for Echo Fury, we've got Spiny Tector. Well, Spino Tector, I should say. And it does have terrain advantage, so it is going to get the next hit, which is, in fact, is going to be a crit. So, as I said, with this Dino Tector, Echo Fury is not out of this yet. Khalid has the lead, but Echo Fury has the Dino Tector, has the terrain advantage. And it's got Ocean Panic as well, if this ties. But they can't afford to get hit by a crit from Tajongasaurus, because that will put them in big trouble. Another hit from Khalid. Not much damage done, though. Oh, that's not good! And I think that's going to be the... Big crit, and in fact, I think that's going to be game over for Echo Fury. And they're going to taste defeat for the first time in this tournament. And Khalid is going to get the bonus point victory, surely. Yeah, I thought so. And what a win for Khalid. Getting off the mark in this tournament in style. Those big crits finally paying off. And Echo Fury tasting defeat for the first time in this tournament. Well, that those results have definitely shaken Group B up. So let's have a look how Group B is shaping up. Well, that's how Group B looks, ladies and gentlemen. And the gap has been well closed. You have Maastricht, you know, topping it with 11 points. That's probably going to be enough to see them through to the knockout rounds. But it's not guaranteed. I think one more win will definitely do it. Then we have our host, Stranger Gamer, in second, suffering their first defeat of the tournament. But still on seven points. Then we have Echo Fury also suffering their first defeat. Sitting on six points, we have Khalid Mulberry getting off to win, getting their first wins in this tournament on four points. Carnotaurus Man also getting off, getting their first win as well, and then Varga and Storm at the bottom. So yeah, that round has really opened up Group B, so tight between second and last. Right, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, ta-ta!